we got our Berkey about 10 years ago before they were super popular and pretty common to see and we loved it. It's been great for us. Um, but recently we have needed to change the filters in our Berkey, but we decided to go with a different option other than the Berkey filters. So we went with the Pro One filters instead and we're going to explain why we did that and how it's been. Yeah, so our filters in our Berkey were like in desperate need of being replaced. I think it had been on our to-do list for like a couple years even before we finally pulled the trigger on it here. And fil replacement filters for our Berkey may or may not have made it onto our Christmas list this past year. We thought like, hey, it's a nice practical gift. You know, somebody will want to get them for us. No, no one wants to get you <laughs> replacement filters for your Berkey for Christmas. So finally it was time. We had to pull the trigger. We had to get new filters for our Berkey. And so we did, but we didn't get Berkey filters. But rewind to why we got a Berkey initially in the first place. So we got ours about 10 years ago and we've been really satisfied with it. We did quite a bit of research initially before purchasing it and basically we just wanted something. Um, we were kind of going back and forth. We had moved around quite a bit between living on city water and well water and we just knew that wherever we were we wanted to have good quality filtered water of something that we could bring with us that was portable. Um, and so with doing pretty extensive research at the time, the Berkey was really the main company that was doing this that we were aware of. Um, the This sort of style of filter and so we got one and we've been really really happy with it. Um, so I know that there's been all sorts of things out there about Berkey and reputability and, and whatever, but, but we have been really, really happy with ours. But recently, when we really decided that it was time to replace the filters, we decided to do a little bit more research into it, right, and ask some questions and do some digging because we'd heard some things about, you know, Berkey and filters and different, you know, potential things that were truthful or not truthful, and, and it just caused us to pause and to do some research before pulling the trigger. And by doing so, that's when we made the decision to buy the Pro One filters instead. Yeah, so we heard about Pro One through some of the just different circles of, of people and communities that we were in, of people that had Berkey's and you know had gotten their replacement filters in the past, but now had switched over to the Pro One. And that causes, yeah, just to look into Pro One a little bit more. We liked that they're, uh, it seems like just a small company out of Michigan, and we live in the Midwest, so they're they're close by. It actually reminds me a lot of like Berkey when we first found them, and they were a smaller company like 10 years ago, and they've grown a lot for good reason. They make a really awesome quality product, but I liked it when it was kind of, they were just a smaller company and more so just spread through like word of mouth and now they advertise a lot and it almost has become more of like this status symbol to own a Berkey, uh, which is for us is just kind of personally a little, little bit of a turnoff um, these mm -hmm. days. And but. we also liked, like we had some questions, we specifically sent emails to customer service, we got responses back. At right, Pro One. At Pro One, we, yeah. we got responses back right away with pretty thorough answers to our questions and so that was also really positive. Yeah, so we ordered up some of their filters. They have the G2 uh, filters, what, what they call it. We got nine inch replacement filters for our Berkey. And they have pretty much all the standard industry like certifications, like the ANSI and NSF certifications that you'd come to expect from, from filters these days. And so some of the pros overall that we've seen now that we've had some time to test out the filters is one, just the taste. Uh, it's right on par with what we, you know, had loved about the Berkey filters. The taste is, mm -hmm. is great. Uh, you know, it's just, it's comparable. I can't say whether it's better or worse, but yeah. it's, it's about the same yeah. as what it's really we good. had from the Berkey. Um, what's really nice too about the Pro One filters is that they do fit into the Berkey perfectly. So they mm -hmm. actually claim like on their website that that will fit into Berkey. And then there's some other uh, competitors of these like gravity style filters too that the Pro One filters will will fit into and that was our experience. They, they, they were fine. a perfect yeah. swap. So another thing and, and we'll probably mention this a little bit in the con side but they are pretty hefty big filters um, and so that being said they do drain the water like super super fast like crazy fast, like way, way faster than our experience was with Berkey filters even initially and we did end up getting 
four filters, which may be a little overkill <laughs> for most people. You really only need two, but we went ahead and we got, they were on sale. We just went ahead and got four and put four in there. So it'll drain the water in like, I don't know, 20 minutes or something. Yeah, it's, it's quick. really, really fast. So, so that's really nice, especially when, you know, you don't let, you know, you let the water go all the way down. You need water, you need water quickly and you have it. Cause before it was taking us several hours to get that much water. Yeah. And another thing that we really loved is that they're they're really affordable filters too. So I, I think they're like just regular retail price is is less than the Berkey overall. But we actually found or got, we got them, them on sale. And they were on sale. So it was like a I don't know for, It was almost half the cost, I think, of what the Berkey yeah, filters are. Yeah, it was quite a bit of savings. And what's really nice is that they have a fluoride filter built into them. So they filter out the fluoride. You can go like check out on, they have all the like lab test results of like what gets pulled out of the water on their website, which it's really extensive what they, what they document with that. But mm -hmm. fluoride is a big one. And so it's, it's built into these filters for Berkey. You have to buy a separate fluoride filter for that capability with the filters. And that's a pretty good mm -hmm. expense to get those extra fluoride filters. So these have it built in, which is, is really awesome. Another thing that I have appreciated about the Pro One filters over the Berkey filters is that, like I don't know all the technical ins and outs of this, but I know Berkey filters have something with the, the level of, like the water level in this upper chamber affects like the, the rate at which they drain. There's some like pressure regulation there that the lower that water level gets, the, the lesser they drain. And with the Pro One filters, you don't have that. It just continues to drain at the same rate, whatever the water level is in the tank. And so that also kind of impacts how quick that, that filters and it filters like all the water through the filter, which is really nice. You don't have any sitting at the bottom of that top chamber. And then a couple other last things are that the the Pro One filters do not need to be primed before you use them. So as soon as you get them, they are basically ready to go. You just want to cycle the water through a couple times, but then they're ready to go. And then, and I think this is pretty comparable to any other filter you would buy, but one of the positive things about these filters as compared to other water filtration systems is the that they leave in kind of the good minerals, the minerals that you want. They don't filter out everything. They just remove the harmful um, things that you do not want, but they keep those beneficial minerals in. And so that's the same for these, um, you know, your calcium, your potassium, your magnesium, that's going to remain in the water with these Pro One filters. And, and then just kind of a little extra bonus, they did throw in a couple freebies with our order unexpectedly, some scrubby brushes for cleaning and a little spritzer, um, like little sprayer to spray water. So just, you know, some nice little touches is, is always helpful. Yeah, yeah. Every filter comes with a little like scrubby sponge thing for, for cleaning the filter regularly, which is, is really nice to have just some dedicated sponges because you don't want to use like soap or anything. So just to set those aside for and have purpose, those for yeah. that purpose. So some of the cons of the filters that we've seen, we already mentioned one is the diameter of them. So they're almost like twice the diameter of a Berkey filter, which we just didn't know initially. Like we said, we might've ordered just two of them had we known that, <laughs> but, but we, they were on sale. So they we were on sale. Got we got four, we installed the four. And if you look inside this thing, it's like really yeah, we can put a jammed up with, with the filter. So, so that kind of, that just impacts things. Like, you know, it doesn't hold as much water in the top reservoir because the, um, because the filters are that much bigger. So we just have to, you know, dump in water more frequently and But because it drains quantity. so fast, it's not that big of an issue. It hasn't been an issue um, at all, but just, just something to know and to consider. And then another con of the Pro One filters, uh, this is an area I would say that Berkey has the advantage, is the lifespan of the filter itself. Um, so Pro One says for every filter, they recommend it for like six months of use. And so like with ours, we have four filters, so that would be like two years of use before we'd have to replace it. Berkey, I, I'd, I'd have to look back at what they actually recommend or claim that you know the it's lifespan longer. is. It's like years for their filters. But I do think if you have the fluoride filters, those are not as long. Yes, the fluoride filters, I, I think it's like every year you're supposed to replace the fluoride filter. So you replace those a lot more often, but the actual filters from Berkey have a really long lifespan. And I, I think when I was kind of looking into things, I saw like Berkey claims it's like 
like you're paying, I think, two cents per gallon or somewhere in that range. And I, I think I saw for the Pro One, it comes out to like five or six cents per gallon, of, you know, with considering that lifespan of the filter and what you pay up front for them. And if you're looking to like start from scratch or get a water filtration system as a whole, we did look into the ones that Pro One offers as compared to Berkey. And there were some features that we actually really liked. So the Berkey filters come with this plastic water spigot. Um, you can spend more money and upgrade to a metal one, but the Pro One systems just come with a metal spigot to begin with. So we thought that was a nice feature. They also come with a metal base that you can sit your Berkey on, or that you can sit your filter on. So Jim actually built one for us, just like some wood planks that we sit it on, but you don't really want to put this we found that you don't really want to put this directly on the, we like putting a barrier between this and the surface that you're putting it on. So they actually have something that comes with their system, which is really nice. Yeah. So it seems really comparable to the Berkey. Um, so I, I think they're both great options. Another thing you might want to consider if you are looking just to get the whole gravity filter system to, to start with, is there's actually a decent amount like used out there now. Yeah. Like if you look on Facebook marketplace, a lot of times people buy one and they'll use it for like a year or less or something and then they'll be like, yeah, that wasn't for me and they'll they'll mm -hmm. want to hand it off for a pretty reasonable price. So Yeah, that's, so you might need to get filters, but you can get the yes, just kind of replace base the system. Filters. Yep, yep. Mm -hmm. So that's that's an option too. Yeah, so as far as replacing the filters go, it's actually a really easy task to do. So don't be intimidated by it like we were and don't keep pushing it off because like the quality of water for you and for your family, it's a really important thing to make sure that you're getting proper filtration. And so yeah, don't don't keep pushing it off. <laughs> Not worth it's it. Easy. So just to walk you through what we did with ours, you basically just pull the components of the filter apart, so like the top and the bottom chamber, and you take out the old filters, unscrew those, they come out pretty easily. And you just want to clean down the filter itself, so the metal compartments. I just use soap and water, warm water, and wash those down really good, got them back to looking new again. And then as far as replacing with the Pro One filters goes, like we said, it's really nice that you don't actually have to prime these filters. They're, they're pretty much ready to go, but the one thing you do want to do is kind of clean off the outside of them with that scrubby sponge that comes included. So you want to run your filters under cold water for about two minutes each and then take the rough side of that scrubby sponge and just give them a good kind of scrub down initially just to get off any sediment or anything that's on there and, and clean them off. You don't want to use any soap at all with, when you're cleaning these. Just use cold water, scrub them down, run it underwater for about two minutes, and then you're good to go. And to install them, there's a little rubber washer that comes included, so you want to make sure you fit that rubber washer in between the filter itself and then the, the chamber that you are screwing it into. And then there's a little nut that you kind of tighten up from the bottom side. Um, you want to make sure to not over tighten that nut because it will kind of give out if you, if you tighten it too much. You can trust me from experience on that one. So just kind of get it, get it snug and then, and then they're good to go. And then once your filters are in, your next step is you want to actually run a couple of water cycles through it that you just dispose without drink. You don't want to drink the initial water that goes through there. You got to kind of clear things out with the filters. And so they recommend at least two cycles of water going through it at a minimum. So you just basically fill the top chamber, let it run through, dump it out each time. And there was like, we noticed after we did that, there was some like sediment things that, you know, in this bottom chamber that, that came out in that process. So just, I think we ended up running it through like three or four times just to be, make sure like it was clear, clear. there was nothing in there. But after that, it was, it was good to go. And we were, you know, up and running within a day or so with our drinking water again. Yeah, yeah, so that's been our experience of replacing our filters in our Berkey with Pro One filters. Overall, we've been really happy with it, but we'd love to hear from you. We don't feel like we are necessarily experts. This is just our experience. So share what your experience has been. What filters do you use and why? So we can help each other out. So thanks so much for watching today and we'll see you next time.